Yeah, terrific. Thanks, Jeff. <clears throat> so C guide operative letter here is the G around governance. Again, one that is management and executive level focused, as well as those folks who are now on governance teams, which are becoming quite a popular thing in many different organizations by board requirements and executive level management. So the C guide recognizes professionals with five or more years of experience, establishing and managing a framework for governance of I IT. Uh, as well as serving in an advisory oversight role, right? Uh, so Seaguide is a terrific solution for this governance component where you are determining the rules by which the organization needs to operate. We see that on the right-hand side, governance and management of IT, strategic management, benefits realization, risk optimization, and resource optimization. The Seaguide also got a refresh in 2020. Uh, and so with that refresh, uh, we've ensured that it is absolutely up to date with the latest concepts in governance that are extremely relevant to today's market. Uh, so let's take a look at the numbers. If we can flip the page, we see here this was created in 2008. Over that time period, 8,000 people have gotten the Sea Guide. Uh, this one actually comes in with the highest average salary, reflecting the smaller number, right, uh, and reflecting the executive level of the certification. We see it is the number two best governance risk and compliance certification, a very unique space, 96% uh, average uh, annual renewal rate, and we've seen over 90% of CEGA holders have been able to develop more effective teams based on what they learned within this. Uh, we'll also see that it's on the right-hand side is designed for highly experienced strategic IT professionals, we're in the role of advisors to upper management and the board. We see uh, this is the most C level of these certifications. Um, we see here it's also for senior IT auditors, senior lead analysts, security risk and compliance specialists, information security compliance manager, and governance risk consultants. Any questions that we have uh, about the C guide, Jeff? Yeah, we have a question related to uh, COVID. Um, just how does Seagate relate to the COVID framework and is there any overlap there? Yeah, great question. Uh, so we love COVID. COVID is a very important piece of IEP for ISACA and COVID has been expressed in all of the certifications we've talked about here today, but none more so than Seagate, uh, simply because governance and COVID go hand in hand. COVID is such a broad, wide ranging framework that can cover almost any type of IT issue, uh, and that is governance, right? So uh, if you are an expert in COVID or if you want to demonstrate your expertise in governance, uh, those two go hand in hand, and we would recommend to reach out to InfoSec uh, for either one of those options. Um, yeah, and then since this is the, the highest paying cert, I think that we're gonna talk about today, uh, now's probably a good time to ask the salary question. Um, just kind of in general, it seems like all these ISAC asserts and the title of this webinar is about how they're some of the highest paying. Um, you just have any insight into, you know, why these certifications are so valuable? Is it, is it ISACA's reputation? Is it the type of stuff that you're going to learn? Is it the positions that they lead to? Or maybe a combination of all three? Um, but I, I think it's interesting when you look at like the top 10 list. Yeah, a lot of these ISACA ones are right near the top. Ah, great. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, definitely everything that you mentioned, right? ISACA's reputation. Uh, the demand for the skills that these certifications confer, right? Um, and the demand for uh, security, right? The demand for digital trust. Uh, these things aren't going away, right? Audit has evolved. Audit is going more to cloud to a great question that we got earlier, right? But that doesn't mean that audit is going away. It's continuing to evolve at a rapid pace. And by getting these certifications, you're demonstrating that you are able to, to evolve as well and keep up with what's required in the industry. So the risks aren't going away. The threats aren't going away. They're getting bigger. They're getting nastier. They're getting more frequent. They're getting more costly, right? And by getting these certifications, you're demonstrating uh, professionally that you can help. And that's what is driving the average salaries. Uh, 